Have you ever struggled to track the ball? Are you missing balls on the offside and the leg side? Are you struggling with consistency or strike? Then this video is for you. We're going to be starting this video off with three brief explanations of the mistakes. Then we're going to head into some tips. And finally, we're going to give you some drills that will help you correct everything. The first mistake that we looked at is struggling to get your head into line. This is where our head's not in line and level with the ball, so we struggle to watch the ball all the way to the point of contact. The second mistake that we looked at is where the foot leads to the ball and leaves the head behind. We want the head to be the first point of movement because that's going to ensure that our weight goes through the point of contact. And the third mistake we looked at is where in your setup and stance, your head is not in line and not level with the ground, making it that much harder to track the ball all the way to the contact point. The first tip we're going to look at is a setup tip. It's where we get into our stance, making sure that our head is not falling over to the offside or falling away to the leg side. In our stance, making sure that we've got a nice, comfortable width of our feet, standing there, making sure the balance is good by initially lifting up the toes to make sure that you're there and then check in the heels as well. This is to make sure that we're perfectly centered in our stance, making sure our weight is good, making sure everything's still ready for the ball to come. The second tip is yet again done with the stance. Yeah, we're making sure that our weight is set in the right position. We have checked whether the weight goes back, 50-50 or forward. And we have found that in general, it is better to have your weight slightly forward, more of a 60-40 split. Because this allows you to be able to move forward, but at the same time, it allows you to push off the front foot to get onto the back foot. This makes sure that the head is always moving in the correct channels. The third tip is yet again in the stance. Yeah, we are trying to make sure that the eyes are facing forward and are level with the ground. For this, we are going to make sure that we just tap our chin against our shoulder to make sure that our head is facing where the ball is going to come from because we need to be lined up to the bowler and at the same time trying to ensure that the eyes are parallel to the ground because this gives us the best chance of seeing the ball all the way to the bat. If you did get to this point in the video and you do enjoy our tips, drills and all our content, please consider leaving us a like, it would be greatly appreciated. We're going to start off with the drills that are going to enable us to get our head into line. We are going to have to have someone throw the ball to us in an underarm manner. What the batter is going to do is they've got to move to the ball and take the catch but the hands and the head are connected by an invisible line that keeps in the same distance apart. This is to ensure that the head gets nice and close to the contact of the ball. For this draw, we're going to do it off the front foot and off of the back foot to make sure that we get into the best possible positions with the lowest amount of stress possible. The second draw we're going to look at is you can either go slow over arms or under arms where the throw throws the ball outside off on the back foot. The batter is going to try and work across to get his body into the channel and then pull the ball. It's important to note that the head needs to get into line with the ball here. So no matter how far the throw throws it wide, you're working hard to get your head into line. This is not necessarily realistic to what you're going to be doing in a game, but it does train the head to move to the ball and allow the hands the freedom of movement to extend through the shot. For the next draw, we're going to need some cones as well. This is a transition draw where we're focused on getting the head into line, but also leading with the head. We're going to place cones at an on drive, a straight-ish drive and a cover drive. The batter is going to take a ball and put it in their top hand they're going to step to the onside cone first and place the ball in the cone, making sure that their head is over the point of placing the cone. They're then going to go back into their stance and repeat the process, but this time picking the ball up. And then from there, we're going to move from the leg side all the way through to the offside, doing it on each cone. This may seem really, really basic, but it's really important to make sure that the body moves in a good line to the ball. At the same time, we're using the top hand because that's also going to promote a nice shoulder dip, which is going to help us with our swing at later stages. While we're still focusing on the head activation, we are now moving on to a draw that involves a superset of two balls. How it's going to work is the throw is going to throw, the batter is going to go and play a back foot punch, working hard to get into the channel, making sure that the head is still slightly forward and extending through the shot. They're then going to hold this position while pulling their hands back for another swing. The thrower is then going to throw a half volley outside off stump and the batter is going to go on the front foot and hit a cover drive. This is important because we're working hard on getting our weight transferring back but then having a nice big weight transfer forward, making sure that the head activates at every point of the draw, making head activation the focus, but giving us weight transfer at the same time. We're now going to move onto our weight transfer draw, and we love this draw. What you're going to do as a batter is you're going to sit with your foot slightly forward, but your toes up with your weight sitting on the back foot. The throw is going to throw slow over arms towards a half volley sort of area, and you're going to put your toes down, bend your knee, and get the head over and extend through that. This is an important movement, because this is how it's going to feel in a game. We know that the head is moving secondary here, but the conclusion point is exactly where we need to be. And it's just training the body to get into the strong position. With that, we are now moving on to our last two draws, which are going to incorporate 
all three of the things we have spoken about. The first one of these is what we like to call the sweep double step draw. How it works is the thrower is going to pop a ball up just in front of the batter. They're going to go and play a conventional sweep. As they complete that and stand up, we're going to pop it slightly more forward and the batter is going to double step and extend through, hit into long on. This is important because the head needs to move forward in both instances. And standing up is forcing the head back and reforcing the head into line. So the weight transfer here is massively important. But at the same time, it is forcing the head into the direction of the shots that we're going to play. Making sure that our eyes are in a good position to watch the ball onto the bat and give us that sweet contact that's going to get us lots of runs in the future. The final draw we're doing in this video is the double double step draw. This is where you can advance down and hit the first ball to long off. Then shuffle back in that line, advance down and hit the next one to long on. This is important because it's all about the footwork and making sure that the head moves into the lines to be able to hit the two different shots. This is going to really test us from a physical point of view because fatigue is going to come in, but at the same time making sure that the head's always in a good point to allow us access to long off and then to long on because the thrower can make it more challenging by popping in slightly different areas. Do this draw as much as you can and you'll improve greatly. Thank you to all the members that help make this video possible. Their names will be coming down the screen now. Thanks then. And if you want to have an elite level strike rate, check this video out over here.